It just said the more you learn, the more you earn. But learn what? Math, science, computers or accounts? My dad told me they teach you everything else in school except money and how to earn money. Then my dad told me a story and then taught me a game. And I will teach you both of them. You will learn what is money, how to save money and how to grow money. Let me start with the story. Many thousand years ago, in a village in India, there was a person called Ramu. He used to grow potatoes. He and his family used to cook and eat mashed potatoes in the evenings. He was getting bored by the taste of potatoes alone and wanted to add onions to make his mashed potatoes tasty. grow onions and one day he went with some potatoes to Ripu's place to exchange with onions. They discussed and established that growing potato needs more effort and one potato would cost three onions. The exchange price for potatoes and onions was one potato, three onions. Ramu gave four potatoes and in exchange he got twelve onions. Because 4 into 3 is 12 and the exchange price was 3. For few days, Rama and Deepu had mashed potatoes with onions and they both loved it. Now Rama and Deepu were having potatoes with onion every day and again started getting bored. So, they decided to meet Vinu who used to make carrots. So, Ramu and Vinu arrived at a price of 1 carrot for 1 potato. Vinu told he should also get 3 onions for each carrot. Just like the potatoes. 3 items, potatoes, onions and carrots, there were 3 exchange prices. So, the exchange prices are 1 potato equivalent to 1 carrot. 1 potato equivalent to 3 onions, 1 carrot equivalent to 3 onions. This kind of exchange was called a barter system where the goods were exchanged for other goods. Now if you add one more item like broccoli to make a salad then it would taste even better. Now we have 4 items but for 4 items we will have exchange prices. Now the exchange prices are 1 potato equivalent to 1 carrot, 1 potato equivalent to 3 onions, 1 carrot equivalent to 3 onions, 1 potato equal to 1 broccoli, 1 carrot equal to 1 broccoli, 1 broccoli equal to 3 onions. It's very very complicated. Likewise, if you add tomatoes, radish, cabbage and many more vegetables, the list of exchange prices would also go up. For 5 items, there would be 10 exchange prices. 6 items will have 15 prices. 7 items will have 21 prices. 8 items will have 28 prices. 9 items will have 36 prices. 10 items will have 45 prices. In a village, there would be several food items, not just vegetables. You will have fruits, cereals, spices, etc. There are also non-food items like shoes, caps, dresses, toys, tools, etc. So there will be hundreds or thousands of items. It was getting very, very difficult to have so many exchange prices. So they decided to do something different. They invented money. What is money? Money is something which is used as a medium of exchange for goods and services. For potatoes, you will not get onions or carrots, but you will get money. Same for carrots and all other items. One of the earliest forms of money used in India, China and Africa was cowrie shells like these. Now, 
Ramu, Vinu and Deepu started using cowrie shells for exchange. So our price in the barter system was one potato equivalent to three onions, one potato equivalent to one carrot, one potato equal to one broccoli, one carrot equivalent to three onions, one carrot equal to one broccoli and one broccoli equal to three onions. So they decided to use cowrie shells. One onion, one cowrie shell. One potato, three cowrie shells. One carrot, three cowrie shells. And one broccoli, three cowrie shells. So each item had one price. So instead of six exchange prices in barter system, we will just have four prices in the money scheme. This will become even more useful when we have more, more items like below. Five items would have five prices in cowrie shell instead of ten different exchange prices in barter system. Six items would have six prices instead of fifteen prices. Seven items would have seven prices instead of twenty-one prices. Likewise, for ten items, we will have ten prices instead of forty-five prices. This makes it much simpler when we have thousands of items. When you use a cowrie shell, the person staying in a village by the beach will be a rich man. He can just go out to the beach and pick the money. But a person living on the mountain side will be a poor man because he cannot find cowrie shells. That was not good. So the world needed a better money, which someone cannot just collect from the beach side, but something better. Then someone came up. The idea of making metal coins instead of cowrie shells. Copper, brass, silver, or gold coins were used to make coins. These coins were made by kings, and they had a stamp of authority, which used to be like a face of the king or some symbols or some letters. There has been evidence of coins about five thousand years ago in Mesopotamia, currently Iraq. And in this valley and Harappan civilization around India, different kings made different coins with different size, shape, with different stamps. Coins were used for several thousand years for trade, and it still continues to be used today. Then, paper money was introduced in China about nine hundred years ago. Now, every country in the world has their own paper money and coins. India has rupee and paise, US has dollars and cents, UK has pounds and pennies, Dubai has dirhams and fils and so on. The currency in each country is managed by their government through a central bank. The government of India manages the Indian rupee through their central bank, the Reserve Bank of India. Similarly, in US we have the Federal Reserve System. So all the exchange of goods within India was all good. Even thousands of years later, Ramu, Deepu, and Vinu had rupees and paise, and they could get all the potatoes, onions, and carrots they needed. Now Vinu wanted some dates to add some of a sweet flavor, but dates were available only with riyas in Dubai. Now that's a problem. When Vinu from India wants to buy something from riyas in Dubai. Do we use rupees or dirhams? There are 195 countries in the world, and most of them have their own money. So there will be so many types of currencies to deal with, and it will get very complex, just like the barter system. So we need a world currency which most countries will accept. US dollar is one such common currency that is accepted by most countries. So when India wants to buy something from Dubai, India will not pay with rupees or dirham, but instead it will use US dollars. currency is not a real currency but a digital virtual software currency 
Ripple and Ethereum are other popular cryptocurrencies used around the world. One more big difference between normal currency and cryptocurrency is that normal currency is controlled and managed by government while cryptocurrency uses technology to manage itself. Since the cryptocurrencies are not owned by a particular country, many countries do not recognize them. That is a lot of information about money. We learned about barter system. Then we saw that barter system was getting more complex with more items. So money got introduced. Among the first type of money was cowry shells introduced several thousands of years ago in Africa, India and China. Then king started minting coins made of copper, brass and silver and gold with stamps of heads, letters or symbols or as stamp of authority. 900 years ago, paper money was first introduced in China. Now most of the countries have their own paper currencies and coins to do trade within the country. US dollar is a kind of world currency that is used to trade between countries. The latest form of currency that got introduced is a digital or a virtual cryptocurrency. The most popular cryptocurrency is Bitcoin. That's a lot of money that we learned. In my next session, we will learn a game which will teach you how to use money to gain wealth. I will teach you what to do with your pocket money. So stay tuned. Hope you like this video. Then please hit the subscribe button and then I will notify you when I add my next video. Ta-ta! Bye-bye! See you!